hi this is Viresh Ali uh, this is the demo video of uh, generating a dynamic PDF and uh, mailing it as an attachment using Django before continuing in the video I would like to show you the project architecture for the better understanding this is how the project architecture looks like I have used Django REST framework and uh, salary for this project this is the project 1 and this is the project 2 uh, project 1 acts as a backend and project 2 acts as a service basically uh, the generation of the PDF is going to happen in the project 2 uh, when we get the request from the front end uh, we validate the data in the PDF backend and if the data is valid uh, we send the response to the front end that we have mailed the uh, user as soon as we send the response to the front end uh, we request for the access token because pdf generator service is authenticated with the jwt to access the apis of that service we need an uh, access token so once we get the access token uh, we hit the uh, url of pdf generator service to generate the uh, pdf uh, once we get the success uh, response from the uh, pdf generator service we mail the customer with that pdf as an attachment if we fails to get the success response from the pdf generator service uh, we send an apology mail to the customer um, uh, this is the scheduler this is basically the cron job uh, for this project uh, the cron job will run for every five minutes to check whether the mail uh, is sent to the customer or not for the first scenario the mail is not sent and the pdf is generated uh, so for this scenario if the pdf is generated and mail uh, is not been sent to the customer it will uh, simply send the mail to the customer with the pdf as an attachment uh, uh, in the second scenario uh, the pdf is not generated and the mail has not been sent so in that scenario it will uh, request uh, for the access token uh, as soon as it gets the uh, access token to access the api uh, it will request for the pdf to generate once uh, it gets the successful response from the uh, pdf generator service it will mail the uh, customer with that attachment if it fails to do so it will again uh, go back to the scheduler so this process will be continued till the pdf is mailed to the customer and here I am using Postman to send the request. So this is the project to where uh, we get the uh, PDF as a response if we provide the valid payload. So this is the payload. Uh, uh, if uh, this is the URL endpoint, and if I try to access this application, as I told earlier, this is authenticated with the JWT. Uh, without passing the access token, if I try to access this uh, API endpoint. Uh, I will get 401 authenticated as a response. So uh, uh, this is the uh, API endpoint for access, getting the access and um, request token. This is I'm passing the username and uh, password to get the both. So once I hit the service, I will get the uh, refresh and access token. So I will copy the access token. Okay, I copied the access token and I will go back here and in the header section, I. I will just paste the access token so i pasted the access token here and i will go back to the body and if i send the same request now uh, the pdf is generated i got the pdf as a response so this is the pdf this is the project 2 uh, we will go to the project 1 so this is the project one um, um, that is called PDF backend. We will make the request to the PDF backend now. So once we uh, make the request to the PDF backend, so we immediately get the responses mail sent successfully. Uh, as told earlier in the uh, uh, project architecture, it will uh, get the response and it will hit the uh, rest. Uh, I mean it will request for the access token once it get the access token it will uh, request for the PDF so when we see the logs of uh, uh, PDF backend so we can see here uh, the task has been executed successfully so when we open the Gmail uh, I will open the Gmail and this is the Gmail and uh, 
I can see here. I open here comes your dynamic PDF, and if I open, so this is the PDF. So here I have added three uh, items here. So we will do the same for the two items. So I will go back to the prospect and uh, I remove one. Uh, no, I will add another one here. I will copy and paste it here instead of bootstrap. I will make it as MUI and it will set it as 200 and I will make the total of 700 to 100. Okay. Again, I will hit the service as soon as I uh, sent a request, I got the references mail has been sent. So again, uh, we will go back to the salary. So our task has been ex executed. That means I should be able to see. So this is the PDF. So I open here and the content will be the same. Here comes your dynamic PDF. When I open the PDF, I should be able to see four uh, items and the total. Uh, uh, now we will see the admin panel and the database schema uh, so this is the admin panel uh, and uh, this is where we save the data so these are the data if i open any one of these so i open this uh, okay these are the data we are saving in a database so uh, this is the initial data uh, initial data which we got from the uh, uh, front end so, so this is the data where we are uh, sending a request to the pdf generator service um, we save this before uh, sending a request to the pdf generator so after we get the res successful response from the pdf generator service uh, we save the pdf and mark the is pdf generated as true so by default these two will be in false so once the pdf is generated i will mark this as true and after that if the mail has been sent we will mark this as true uh, now we will see the worst case scenario where the pdf generator service fails to uh, send the uh, pdf as a response so uh, i intentionally make this server to send the uh, 500 error so i will open the code this is a pdf generator code i will comment all the uh, code here so i will uh, Open up here. So uh, as soon as it uh, uh, as soon as it uh, get requested, so we, it will send the file response. So uh, I will go back to the postman. I, I hit the service. Uh, this is the PDF backend uh, endpoint. So I make a request. So as soon as I made a request, I got the response as email uh, sent successfully, and I will go back to the salary to check the logs. So. Uh, it got a task now it's in the mail customer task so it's uh, so our mail has been sent so when i when we open the uh, like uh, admin panel when i when we refresh this uh, we got the data object uh, this was initially i tried and uh, uh, because of some other issues it got failed so this is the object we sent so here uh, as we uh, we failed to generate the pdf so no pdf is here these both are marked as false and this is the uh, response we sent to the uh, pdf service so when we open the uh, mail so i got a mail for the uh, i got a mail regarding the apology apologies for the inconvenience we'll try to send the pdf as soon as possible so if we fail uh, to send the pdf as an attachment we send the apology mail as i told earlier in the mail so now what i will do here like here is uh, this is the object our object is I open here and we will uh, uh, run our cron job. So this is the cron job. So this is in running. So for every five minutes, it will uh, check whether the mail has been sent or not. So for 32, so for 32 and for 31, uh, our service uh, mail has not been sent and PDF is not also not generated. So what I will do is I will go back to the PDF generator and comment down this line and uh, quickly uh, yeah, uncommented this line and uh, wait 5 minutes so we will wait until it uh, executes so in the admin panel the object number 31 and 32 
uh, both are uh, PDF is not yet generated and uh, both are at for both PDF and mail has not been sent so we will wait for the uh, cron job to run So it is sending the task. So uh, it means it is executing. So we got an error here. So our object 31 and 32 are not that um, object. Our object 31 and 32 is PDF is not generated. There is error with the 48,000. So okay, got it. I understood. Huh. So what we will do, we will run the server again. Okay. Uh, we will check whether these are uh, still the PDF is not generated. Okay. That was the connection issue. Right? That was the connection issue. So we will wait for the execution. So our task has been executed here. We'll go back to the salary. Uh, this is the condition where I apply. So PDF not generated. It will go to the condition where PDF is not generated. So when we open the admin panel, uh, we open the data object 31 and uh, it again hit the uh, pdf generator service and got the pdf and it marked as is pdf generated and the mail also has been sent so when we open the data object 32 so even it also got the uh, pdf and both has so now uh, when we open the mail we'll be able to see this when we open the mail so these two emails we got okay So that's it guys, thank you.